time before you had to take your shoes off at the airport and take all the liquids out of your bag. I mean, I'm sure I do, but I was too young to like have to be handling this myself. I was 13 on 9-11 so it's like yeah no it's before my time despite being the busiest travel day of the year the flight was only about a third full this is probably because it was only a 30 minute flight which once you account for all the time at the airports is barely faster than the three hour drive between the two cities now i feel that that's true these days kevin but back in the day if you could just roll up to the airport and get on the plane lately <laughs> i used to always arrive at the airport with plenty of time and now you know uh, i'm definitely a bit close cut things a bit closer because they're always like make sure you arrive like two hours before and i'm like yeah yeah but you're not really gonna close that thing until like half an hour before and yeah i'm like i always just you know like to push it a little bit unless i'm traveling with my family then it's like you never know what happens so let's just shut up early and then you can just go use one of those airport lounges or whatever and chill out for a little while which is quite nice have some free food <laughs> The plane took off on schedule at 12.50 p.m. for what should have been a short flight, with Cooper occupying seat 18E in the very back row of the plane. Once the plane was in the air, Cooper lit up a cigarette and ordered a bourbon whiskey from the stewardess. He handed her a $20 bill for the $2 drink and told her to keep the change. Holy sh**, player. Cooper was very polite and courteous the entire time, but shortly after his first drink, he handed a note to the flight attendant, Flora Schaffner. Also, what half-hour flight has drink service? Surely that's just up at altitude and then down. Is anyone even taking their seatbelts off? The 23-year-old flight attendant was used to single businessmen giving their phone number, so she took...